what's up you guys so we have another hair video today we're gonna be doing another wig install you guys know i love switching my hair up but we're gonna go for a different look today the hair that we're working with is from selly hair so this is the packaging so when you first open it it looks like this here's their card and here's all their socials so this is what the hair looks like it's super pretty i love it it's something super different for me i usually don't like to do natural colors like i like to do like fun and vibrant colors but i feel like this would be a cute little switch up and i kind of want to cut like bangs into it but we'll, we'll see we'll see so yeah real quick these are the deets on the wig on the hair so it is a body wave hair i believe and it's super cute and bouncy i'm gonna show you guys a close-up on the lace it just looks like this it does come with baby hairs this is what the inside looks like it has your clips and everything so yeah let's get into this install y'all i'm really excited i actually do have somewhere to go today i'm going to the miniso store opening which i'm really excited about because i love miniso so yeah if you guys want to see that i will cover it on my tiktok but for now let's just get into this install girl because i have to go it is right now 9 30 and i have to be out by like 11 so ah, and i still have to do my makeup okay so hopefully we could do this really quick so let's stop chatting and just get into it okay guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this it's a 10 miracle leave-in spray and I just put it in my hands and like spread it throughout my hair so this is gonna help um, moisturize my hair while it's in the wig cap and while I have the wig on because my hair tends to be like really dry so I'm just like brushing that through and then I'm gonna part my hair down the middle and I'm going to start the braiding process pretty much so I do like to put hair oil um just so like i could have something in my hair you know like while i have the wig cap on so i used this um what is it called a uh, growth oil like supposed to make my hair grow so now i'm going to start braiding so i just do two french braids on either side and i try to get them like as tight as possible so my wigs could lay as flat as possible but my hair is I mean, it's not too thick, but it is pretty thick, so it's hard to get them really flat. But yeah, I'm just going to tie both sides down, and now I'm taking the gel, and I'm going to put it on an edge brush and just push my edges back, just so none of them get caught when I start gluing stuff down. And I'm also going to take my, um, what is this called, got to be spray, and spray the edges also so they don't budge. Because I don't want my edges getting caught up with the glue and the wig cap and everything. So I'm going to pin my braids up, put my wig cap on, poke two holes in it so I can see. And then we're taking the got to be spray again and taking that to the hairline to start gluing down or like I guess sticking down the wig cap. So we're actually going to do two layers of this stuff to make sure nothing is going to lift or anything because that's the worst when your wig cap starts lifting. It kind of just messes up the whole install. So I'm taking the blow dryer to make sure it's really dry and it's really like mushed onto my forehead. And I'm also taking the edge brush just to be like extra sure, extra secure. So now we're going to start cutting up the wig cap. So this is how I do it. I just take these big old scissors and start cutting across the wig cap. And you're going to do that up until your sideburns. So I'm kind of like peeling it up a little bit just to get it as close to the hairline as possible. And then I'm cutting it off with the scissors. So yeah, once again, peeling and cutting. Just to make sure it's really, really close to the hairline because I do kind of have a small forehead, so I need as much space to work with as I can get. So now we're going to take our ghost, blonde, ghost, blonde, ghost Bond glue and I just like to dot it. I don't like to put too much on because this is really just for the wig cap to stay down and really like blend in. So you're going to like mush it down with a comb if you have or like your edge brush or whatever. So I'm just like mushing it down so it looks like really smooth and so it won't budge or peel or anything like that throughout the day. So the one I got is actually waterproof. Is it really waterproof? I don't think so, but <laughs> it is like sweat proof and girl, I'd be sweating. It'd be hot out here. I'm going to take a sip of coffee and now we're just cutting the ears out. Yep. 
I got it cut around the ears and I like to just tie it in the back. I don't know if this does anything. My braids were starting to fall out and everything. Girl, it was a mess. I actually put more bobby pins in later on, but yeah, girl. Um, now we're gonna try on the wig and start feeling it out, seeing if it's gonna lay right and blah, blah, blah. So it was actually pretty good. Um, it lined up pretty well with my actual hairline. So it was fine. It was super easy to install and everything. So I'm gonna take my got to be spray again. And I stopped using glue on my wigs because it's super hard to get out of the lace. So now I only use the got to be spray and I've been loving it lately. So once I spray it down, I put a good hefty layer of the got to be spray on and then I put the what is this called wig band that like yeah the stretchy band i put that down and then i start working on styling the hair so i wanted a pin straight look i love straight hair on me so i just wanted to straighten the hair out so i started this lengthy process i think i need a new straightener my straightener kind of sucks honestly but yeah i started straightening the hair it took me literally forever i had to go over the hair several times so yeah this is just me straightening the hair straightening it out as you usually would i love a good middle part i don't know i never do a side part maybe one day i'll try a side part but i love a good middle part so I'm just straightening the hair out. I also put Garnier um, hair oil to help me straighten the hair out a little bit more, make it a little softer and smoother. So yeah, just straightening that bitch out. And now we're gonna take the wig band off. It was, it's been a good like hour maybe um, that it took me to straighten the hair out. So now we're cutting the excess lace off. So the glue should be all the way dry. So you're just gonna take your scissors, peel the lace back a little bit, and then just cut the excess off. And you're going to do that all the way down to your sideburns and around your ears and everything. So, yeah, sometimes I like to section it off. It just makes it easier. So I just cut this little section. Now I'm cutting the rest off. Cut around them ears and everything. And we're almost done. So now I took this, like, estrogen. It was pretty much like an alcohol um, that you put. I'm just taking the excess, like, hairspray off. Because the hairspray tends to like drip and get all over the place when you're like installing the wig. So yeah, now I'm taking my foundation in a color darker than my skin tone. And I just put it on this tiny brush and now I'm like patting it into the lace. So this really helps conceal the lace. Like the lace tends to have like a white cast, you know. So this really helps it look like skin, girl. Like it's giving skin. So you can see a little bit of here. Um, I'm just taking a darker foundation, dabbing it into the lace, and it came out looking really good. Like I was actually really shook. So this is how the hair is looking, girl. So I thought it looked great as is, but I kind of wanted to try something different, switch it up a bit and do some bangs. So I'm just parting out the hair and I was like trying to see if I would even like it, but I'm just parting out the hair with the comb, trying to get a straight part. Um, you don't want to get like a two, like a section that's too thick, you know, like a good, like thin section and just part it. And then I was also like wetting it a little bit to make it a little easier to part it. And then I start cutting and I, girl, my anxiety was through the roof because I was like, what if I regret it? But I actually really liked it. I, I was really happy with how it came out. So I'm just taking my straightener to kind of style them a little bit, trim them up how I like them. And this is how it came out, girl. Okay, babies, so here is the final look. I did my makeup and everything. This is how the hair looks. It looks so freaking cute. I literally haven't had bangs since like sixth grade or something, but I think it's like really cute, really flattering. I like how the bangs are kind of like two tone, like you see the highlights and the bangs and stuff. So I just straightened the hair out. It took me so long because you guys could see the hair is really long. So it took me forever and I'm like literally sweating. But um, yeah, this is how the hair looks. Like how freaking cute guys do we love her or what and also even without the bangs like i kind of want to show you guys the hairline on here actually looks really good like i didn't pluck it or anything 
and I feel like it looks really natural like I'm actually kind of shook about that I want to show you guys how it looks like up close how freaking cute like, you see like the highlights and stuff oh my god ignore the mess in the background let me go over here I think it actually like really complements my skin tone and everything so yeah this is how the hair looks up close I'm about to start cutting bangs into like all my wigs because this is such a vibe so definitely recommend I've worked with Sally hair in the past and they never disappoint they got some good hair suits I missed a few spots I have to like straighten this hair better but i'm just so lazy i'm just getting ready to head out the door just want to do a little outro so this is how the hair looks this is how it looks from the back it's really really long you guys for my outfit i just went with like a neutral outfit for the event i'm just wearing this cute little like baby tee and then these like jeans with my combat boots and i think i'm gonna wear this purse how cute guys like just to complete the like neutral look of it all but yeah shout out to Sully hair for sponsoring this video i love trying out new looks for you guys so yeah let me know if you guys like this look on me or not i don't know i thought i was gonna give more like Nicki minaj but it's giving more like 70s vibes i don't know thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out Sully hair down in my description hit that link i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next one